So why do you lose subscribers or why do people just stop watching your videos? In this video, we're gonna talk about seven reasons people are unsubscribing from your channel and how to fix them right now. Hey, what's up guys, Sean here, Benji here, and this is Video Influencers, helping you build your influence, income, and impact with online video. And on this channel, we have tips and trick videos as well as weekly interviews with YouTubers. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. So we surveyed some of you in the influencers community to ask, why do you stop watching channels or why do you unsubscribe? And we had so many great responses mm -hmm. and we've compiled them into seven of the top reasons so we can learn from them and you can as well to make your channel and your videos better. Reason number one, YouTube purges and inactive accounts. So some of you may know, but some of you might not know that YouTube just cleans house once in a while. So if there's users that are inactive for long periods of time, they're going to purge them from your subscribership. So sometimes out of nowhere, even we experience it, tons of people unsubscribe. And that's not necessarily you. This is something that YouTube is doing as a common practice just to make sure whoever's on YouTube is actually using YouTube. Reason number two is off-brand videos. And so Abel says, the creator stopped making the type of content that they promoted to me to subscribe to begin with. And a lot of responses like Abel's came in during the survey, and this is a big deal. If you think about it, if someone subscribes to your channel because you're doing all gaming videos or all cooking videos, but all of a sudden you start to vlog, that was not the original reason that the person subscribed. It doesn't mean you shouldn't change, but it's a huge reason of why people might stop watching your videos. So the solution to this is stay committed to your type of content. Obviously we have to adjust, but what we would recommend is if you are interested in another type of content, maybe start another channel. But not, not saying you can't adjust, just know that certain people are interested in a certain type of content, and if you're not delivering on that, they might unsubscribe from you guys. The third reason is inconsistency. And we heard a lot of responses from you guys about this as well. Chase said, when they stop posting regularly, and that's the thing, if you stop being consistent, you can be really forgotten and it'll even influence the algorithm where you might not start getting featured as much if you're not consistently posting, letting YouTube know you're a real YouTube player and you're not just dabbling. Now we understand that being consistent can be hard. So we'll link up a playlist of videos that will help with that. We'll put it on the YouTube card. But the key is do your best to stay on a video posting schedule. Reason number four, change of interest. And Haley says, my interests change and their content doesn't match up. Andrew, completely agree here. Uh, also, Coding says, usually I lose interest in the topic. And realize this, there's different seasons of life, you know. They might be subscribing to your channel because there's a certain need that you fulfill or there's questions that you answer, but maybe a year later, two years later, they're not interested in those topics. So naturally, when people are looking over who they're subscribed to, they may unsubscribe. And the power tip here is that you just wanna keep growing. You know, every business, every organization, every YouTube channel is gonna face attrition. If you have a kid's YouTube channel, eventually the kids are gonna grow up. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. People's hobbies change. So you don't really have to take this personally, but the tip is that you want a big rate of growth, just assuming that some people are gonna be dropping off. And realize on the flip side, there's always new people interested in that type of content or your topic that you're speaking on your channel. So there's something about new subscribers that will fill the emptiness that the lost subscribers create. Reason number five is shallow growth strategies. And so a lot of you said, Megan said, clickbait and constant negativity. Albany said, mostly clickbait. And so that, of course, is kind of a short-term, short-sighted growth strategy. Now, there's no denying that doing clickbait can get you views, but it also gives you kind of a reputation of being a clickbait type of person. And so we really recommend to have a long-term strategy. This is a marathon, not a sprint. You're always building your reputation. And if you do like short-term win strategies that make you kind of lose a little bit of credibility, it's not gonna help you in the long run. And another example of this is things like giveaways. Now we think giveaways are awesome. We just did a giveaway mm -hmm. here on Video Influencers because more like because we wanna add value to the community most of all. But the problem with giveaways is if somebody signs up just to get a camera or an iPad or some makeup, they may actually not be a very high quality subscriber and therefore they might just tune out or unsubscribe later because all they wanted was the giveaway. 
And a solution to this is just also just realizing that when you do things like giveaways to get more subscribers that you're gonna lose some people. And what I would suggest is just remember there's a balance to it. You don't wanna be doing a giveaway every single day. I do believe that there's channels it works for, but you know what? They're probably losing tons of subscribers all the time because the only reason they subscribed in the first place was a giveaway. So again, realizing and putting a little bit of balance in your content. Reason number six is too much promotion. And so Jessica said, too many sponsored videos, not relatable. Emily said, if they get too sponsored and the sponsorships direct their content too strongly, I've left several people because of this. And then Taylor said, when it's four ads per video, clickbait and product placement becomes 80% of the content. Ask yourself, why do you watch Netflix more than TV? Why are you, you know, subscribing to Hulu or just using YouTube? People do not like commercials, right? Obviously, there's a place for sponsorships. I personally do sponsorship. We've done some promotions, but there's a balance to it. And realize when you just do too many sponsorships, you know, one of the uh, people mentioned too many ads inside of your YouTube video, it can get annoying, right? And people will just get disinterested. And it's really important for you guys to have a good balance and understand the reason they're going to your channel is for your content, not for sponsorships and promotions even though that is part of a healthy channel. Reason number seven is a lack of integrity or selling out. Abel says, when I feel that YouTubers are going against their own beliefs. Another comment here talked about when someone is no longer really a man or a woman of their words and another one just said they sell out. They stop being themselves and they stop making good content. And I think that this is such a powerful one because integrity is everything, mm -hmm. especially if you want longevity. Yeah, a great example of this is sponsorships. My wife and I, we have a vlog channel. When we get approached about a sponsorship, we first ask ourselves, is this a product or service we actually use or we would use, right? We don't just take on a sponsorship just for the payday. And that's really important to us. Our viewers also understand this, you know? Obviously, we don't do too many sponsorships, but when we do, we make a very calculated choice and ask ourselves and really test, is this something that we'd be proud to share with people even if we weren't being paid to share it. So that's just a great example. A lot of you guys can probably relate to people like just doing things for the money, right? Integrity is key. Absolutely. And I think it's important to note that there's extremes here that are worth avoiding. Is it bad to change? No. no. Is it bad to be different than you used to be? That doesn't actually mean you sold out. So I think you can drift to either extreme, but I think we all know when content feels like it loses its authenticity, yeah. it kind of is compromised a little bit. It seems forced because you've been watching the YouTube channel for a while and all of a sudden a brand yeah. they would never use is on there. Yeah. But I think all of us ultimately know this one in our own heart. I think we know what's best for us. I know if we're being true to ourselves, we're being authentic, you know, we're staying true to our own voice and we're even doing sponsorships that we do believe in. People are still gonna probably misjudge you. Of course, you're never gonna make everybody mm -hmm. happy, but these are such good guiding principles for keeping, I think, strong subscribers and a strong brand that remains full of integrity. And the last tip I would give on this point is being authentic. You know, when people can read on your face and in your content that you're not being authentic, that's actually a wake up call for you to ask yourself, is this what I really wanna be doing? Is this the type of content I wanna be creating? It might be the time to start a new channel, maybe get off of YouTube and just like recalculate where you wanna go moving forward. Question of the day, what causes you to unsubscribe from a YouTube channel or to just stop watching their videos? Let us know in the comments section below and remember that some of the best insights come from you, the influencers community. So definitely connect with everybody in the comments section. And if you like this video, please give us a like. And if you're new here, consider subscribing to Video Influencers. Yes, and if you haven't downloaded our free guide, we actually recently updated it with our best tips for every time you upload a video. It's a checklist, so you can get the title right, get the description right, get the thumbnail right, all those things, so you get more views and you get more subscribers. So you can grab that for free, link in the description below or on the YouTube card. As always here on Video Influencers, helping you build your influence, income, and impact with online videos. Keep crushing it and we will talk soon.